Yo guys and welcome back to Electrofag's YouTube channel with your boy Bearded Benzi. So today we're going to have the lowdown on the Endura T18 E starter kit. Uh, I will be using a juice with it so I can show you what it is. Um, so if you do want a further review on the UFA range, which I'm using Cherry Cola for this one, Make sure you drop in those comments below, make sure you're liking, and we'll go and do a full juice review on those as well. Let's go. So, I'm gonna do this one properly because I'm gonna do this in a proper style. I did cheat a little bit though, guys, I've gotta be honest with you because I don't like fiddling with these packets, so I did bite it just before we started. That's what we do with rubbish now. So we have the Inikin Endura T18E, which will give you a look at the back there, which is probably going to be backwards for you. Well, that's all gravy. Don't worry about it, because I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Do that again. Yeah. So when you get your kit, let's just, if I opened it the right way, that would be a good start. So this is how you come packaged with all the information that we're going to discuss today is in there as well but let's go to this so on the back here i'm going to turn it around because it's backwards to you it's right way to me yada 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 but you can see there so the t18e is one of the best starter kits on the market for transitioning from cigarettes to vaping we have got other reviews coming up on other starter kits in the future I had to do the purple one because it's purple, it's me. So, battery size on this. It's 1000 milliamp hour. That in a starter kit is really high. Uh, generally starter kits are around 800, 950, somewhere in that region. You do get some that are a little bit higher, like 1100, 1200, but the 1000 milliamp hour battery in this one is more than ample to run this kit. So this is just regulated at 14 watts. So you get 14 watts pretty much all of the time until you start getting to that lower side of your battery capacity. So as your battery starts dropping, your wattage drops ever so slightly. So you don't get a continuous 14 watts. And some starter kits do a continuous watt voltage or continual wattage, whichever one you, you prefer to go with. So you get the same power, even if the battery life's depleted. So, as it says on the back here, you get your battery, your tank, you get a coil fitted in the tank, and you also get a spare one, and they are 1.5 ohm Endura coils, which are phenomenal. Uh, I've actually taken one apart, which we'll probably do another video in that just to show you inside of the coil itself. You get your user manual and your accessories. So now we've done with that, let's get into the box. So on here, it will tell you everything you need to know. So you have your battery where your USB port is located for charging, your power battery, the 510 thread, the base of the tank, the tank itself, the coil and the mouthpiece, how to fill the tank for those of you that don't know how to fill the tank. And it's also got the little color diagram here for your battery. So I like reading what these say about their batteries. So when it is charged off the wall, with a five volt, one amp wall charger. Now, I'm gonna stress this because they've raised it. Don't be going out and using your Samsung fast chargers. Don't be using your Apple high fast chargers. Make sure you're checking the rating on the back of your plug that says the output is one amp or less. That way you can make sure you are a 100% in looking after the battery on any starter kit. Because a lot of, and I've, we've, we've seen it before, most reviews just tell you to use the kit. It's a good starter kit. It does this, it does that little bit of an in-depth thing and then away you go but they don't actually focus on some of the key points that a lot of people fail on with starter kits like charging we have a lot of people that just seem to think oh it's usb so i can use any usb plug theoretically correct you can use any usb plug however when you start going over a certain ampage on your plug you're just gonna start overcharging the battery, putting too much power into the battery, and then your battery life is gonna be diabolical. And by diabolical, I mean charging it over night time, waking up in the morning and it going flat within an hour. That, those are the side effects of using a charger that isn't rated for its application. So always make sure you're using a one amp charger just so you get 
optimum battery life from start to finish. Never, ever leave your vape on charge overnight. As a rule of thumb, we always say five hours maximum, no more than five hours ever. And it will tell you when it's full because the lights will completely go off. As soon as you see the lights go off, just unplug it straight away and you can start using it. So with that little tip bit out of the way, you get a magical USB lead. Ooh, your spare coil. You do get two extra drip tips with this as well. So you get a replacement purple one, but you get the, the slightly flatter one. In fact, I'm gonna open this because, why not? Because a lot of people do prefer this particular mouthpiece. So it's more like an oblong, it's not straight it's got a little flat element to it with the same size holes in and like i say your replacement silver one you also get your little bag of o-rings just in case you for whatever reason damage one when you're taking it apart you do get spares you also get a nifty little stand which i'm probably going to use throughout this video as well when i'm not using the kit or i'm going through something but these are just a little stand so you can rest your kit on so just for the purposes just because i can I'm just going to show you what the stand does. It literally just stores it. So that's everything out of the box now. Obviously, you've still got the instruction manual on the inside, but there's not much point showing you that when we're going to talk about some of the features of it anyway. So I'm not going to throw that because it'll probably put a hole in the wall if I launch that. But that's fine. So these go in your kit. So you have your T18E tank and your T18E battery. So we'll start with the battery first. Oh, I've got a tank doing a runner across the table there then. So on your button here, that's three clicks to turn it on. Yeah, there you go, and you'll see that there is, if I close enough, the color light flashing behind there. That again is your battery life. So the button will light green if it's fully charged up to 70%. Below 70% it then turns amber, and then below 30% it then turns red. So when it comes to charging, I really like this. This bottom actually spins around and then shows you your USB. Again, make sure you're using a one amp charger because you want it to last as long as physically possible. Uh, that's all I can really say about that battery. I'm not going to go through height and width and diameters and stuff like that because I don't want to. So then it comes to your tank. Now the tank on this is slightly different to your everyday mouth to lung starter kit. Primarily it's the coil that a lot of people struggle with on this kit. So when it comes to changing a coil, if you unscrew this bottom retaining ring, which just comes off nice and easy, it will then expose the bottom of the coil. Now, I'm going to move forward in a sec so I can show you this. So these coils do just slide out and slide back in, but that's not all there is to this one. So, let's grab my microphone. Let's move forward so you can see on there, there are two raised elements on the bottom of that tank. They're there for a reason. The reason for that is the coil also has two flat sides to it, which are here and on the other side there. So the other sides are just nice and round, but they're flat. That's designed so they fit nicely together and they will sit nice and flush on the bottom. If you don't do that, you'll end up with a lap full of juice. It won't taste nice and it'll certainly break your clothes if you don't fit that correctly. But there is another way to tell as well. So if you are changing this at home and you do put your cap on, and it only goes that far and you've got a gap in between the tank and that bottom retaining ring, your coil is not fitted correctly and will leak. So what you wanna make sure is when you put that coil in correctly, that that screws all the way down and doesn't leave any gaps. That way you know then that the coil is 100% fitted correct and you're not gonna have any leaks, you're not gonna have any worries. Really nice and simple. When it comes to filling it up, you know, all you gotta do is unscrew that top piece which exposes this part. So again, with this, even though that does expose that there, and you can see that little rubber seal on the top, that rubber seal actually forms part of the seal on the top of the cap, which brings me to the other point, when you're changing the coil, make sure your tank is empty, 
because it will just leak out uh, easiest way to show you that is because the top of that coil actually creates a seal with the top cap there that then keeps your liquid in the tank once it's all sealed as soon as you take that coil out your liquid can just drain through the mouthpiece can drain through the bottom so just always make sure that the tank's empty before you change that coil so let's just fit that again pop that back on oh nearly forgot something then well reminded guys thanks for dropping those comments in there when you come to fill you just fill around the coil itself so that little gap that you can see in between the coil and the actual casing of the tank just make sure you fill it up down there just so you don't end up with spit back from the coil so like i said to you guys i am just going to use this dead quick so you can see it using uh, and i am going to be using a ufa vape cherry cola uh, one because i really like the flavor uh, but like I said in the introduction guys, if you do want us to do a more in-depth review of the UFA range Make sure you comment in below drop in those likes drop in those subscribes and we'll just keep on giving you videos based on what you want to do so With this coil you can either fill the tank up with it in and leave it to sit for a good 10 minutes So it adequately soaks in and then you're ready to vape or for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and prime that now so all I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of juice on each of these holes on the side for now, just to start speeding this process up. And then I'm going to just pop a little bit down the center so I can get going with this for you. So, oh, nearly I bought the microphone then. I am tempted to eat it though, to be fair. So I'm just going to pop a little bit down the center give you a blow as well since it'll give the coil a blow there you go sharing's caring and all that so basically the reason that i've done that is i haven't got 10 minutes to sit here and wait for it to start priming so that is the only reason that i'm doing that oh there it is so pop the retaining ring back on again making sure that that fits nice and tight on the bottom and then again i don't know whether right stay you can see just on the outside there and then just fill it up so i'll sit back over here for a minute but you know what i've just noticed i've done right i can see patrick looking at me funny so i did tell him i'd get him at some point because we need to bring this back because then you can hear me better see guys we like to keep it 100 percent legit um there is a little bit of editing that goes into the videos, but stuff like that, it just shows that we are who we are. Uh, all of you remember me from when I used to do the videos and I used to tell you that... I'm not going to say it now because I don't know whether he's got the soundbite covered to uh, cover my expletives. Which if you do hear <laughs> in a video, it's probably because I've swore or someone else has swore and they'll be using that to... Uh, to cover that up but if you want the unedited version of the bearded benzy go across to the ellsmere port or the list card facebook page i'm unfiltered there i will be unfiltered at some point but shh, don't tell anybody so anyway we've now filled this up it is fully charged or as near as can be anyway so now i've done that i've already primed the coil a little bit so all i do now is you'll see on the side just about here there is a slight little hole that is the airflow for this tank so all i do is just cover those up give it a couple of draws just to make sure that i can taste that liquid coming through and then we're gonna go Ooh. oh we picked a good liquid to try this one with So you'll notice from that if I do that here. The drawer is nice and tight. So the reason that drawer is nice and tight, obviously it's a mouth to lung device, so we want it to replicate that action of smoking a cigarette where you do your little double hail intake um, where you fill yourself full of thousands of chemicals. Don't be doing that, by the way. It's not a good idea. It's not good for your health. Uh, but this replicates a cigarette near enough perfectly the draw speed on it is similar to a cigarette and then again your nicotine is based solely on how many fags you're trying to get off um, and everyone in every uh, 
everyone in every electrofag store will have the same so we all know exactly where you should be with quitting your fags so if you're smoking 20 a day we always give you the choice between a 6 and a 12 the only reason we do that is some people prefer an extra little bit of a kick some people just want to replace their nicotine and not have that extra little bit of a kick so we always give you the opportunity to have heat either that way you know exactly where you stand then going forward with your liquid strength uh, liquid that suits you we can only make recommendations based on experience but again we're not the ones that are going to be vaping it all the time it's you guys that are vaping it all the time so you guys need to just make sure you're getting the right nicotine strength for you uh like i say all the electrofrag guys all know exactly what they're doing so they will look after you whichever store you go to uh which we will put a link into all of their stores so you know if there's one close to you you can pop in check this kit out check the guys out go and get some advice uh yeah but so far this for me still one of the best mouth to lung devices on the market i'm gonna give you a little sneak preview now because there will be an s1 quick hit coming up don't know who'll be doing that one but it will be coming up but that's one you need to watch um so yeah that is everything guys like we we're saying earlier make sure again that you're not charging it with a two amp charger just turn the plug around and look on there it will have the output ratings listed for you so make sure it's one amp or under again with the coil make sure that is fitted perfect no one likes a leaky tank leaky tanks can happen it's just it, it's one of those things you're dealing with cotton liquid and a hole if it wants to escape it will escape just be mindful that you will get a little bit of residue especially underneath the tank and you will get a lot of liquid everywhere if your tank is still full like this and you just change the coil again i'd love to do that just to prove a point and just show you what happens but it's only going to be me that's cleaning it up so i'm not going to bother with that one but it will leak everywhere and it will drain the tank within a second um but so far i'm loving this uh, cherry cola by ufa and if you've not checked that out you certainly need to so with that being said guys if you want to keep on watching Electrofag's channel, make sure you're dropping a like, make sure you're dropping a subscribe, drop us some comments, leave us some feedback, ask, ask us questions. If you want us to do a review on a certain thing, drop it in the comments section. My boy Patrick will, uh, will hook that up. Chances are, if you make a really obscure request for a review, it'll probably be this mug here that you're looking at doing that review, just because I like crazy, stupid things. Uh, and like we've said in a previous video, at some point we will be, let's see if I've still got it, we will be blowing one of these up, just so you know. So on a previous video, we did go through battery safety, so make sure you're dropping that one out if you haven't already. Make sure you're checking out all the other videos as well, leaving comments, dropping those likes, and make sure you're subscribing. So guys, I'm signing off for the day, and I will see you soon.